If you have a Give Energy battery that has dropped out of Wi-Fi connection, these are the steps to reconnect. So first of all, if you are using a desktop computer, then you'll need to remove the USB from the bottom of your inverter and plug it in to the desktop computer. However, if you're on a laptop or um, a smartphone, you don't need to disconnect the USB. A really helpful tip for reconnecting uh, the Wi-Fi on any of these inverters or batteries is to forget your own network and not let it connect automatically while you're doing this process because it's a little confusing for your smartphone or laptop to understand why you're connecting to a device rather than a Wi-Fi network. Uh, so it'll always try and go to the network first. So forget that and follow these steps. So step number one is you access your Wi-Fi settings and select the Wi-Fi network that matches the dongle serial number and click connect when it is visible. Ensure connect automatically is ticked. So when you're connecting to the dongle, it's best on your device to open Google Chrome. So that is whether you're on a smartphone, um, so an Android or an Apple phone or a laptop or even a desktop. Use Google Chrome. It is the best uh, browser for this whole process. And you type 10.10.100.254.0.0. Into the uh, the browser, and when prompted, you enter username, admin, password, admin. The next step, step three, you're going to select STA mode and click apply. And then when you go into STA interface setting on step four, you click the search button. Now this search is to find your original Wi-Fi home network, the actual Wi-Fi that you go on Facebook and Instagram on. Uh, so you select your Wi-Fi network and click apply. Click refresh if your network doesn't appear. Um, if you're having any further trouble than that, please do get in contact with us. The signal strength for your Wi-Fi needs to be at least 50% for a reliable signal. So that's uh, so that you can get continuous coverage and we can always look into your battery um, from the back end and help you out that way as long as your Wi-Fi is connected. Going on to step six, you're going to put your password into the pass phrase box and hit apply. Now select AP interface setting. Select Select WPA2-PSK in the drop down menu and put that in security mode and that is to re-secure your network because you don't want anyone being able to connect to it right and on step number eight choose a password the inverter serial number is the recommended password and hit apply and then you just need to restart the dongle so you select device management and hit restart so those are for the dongles that are we slash wf serial numbers and to know that your dongle is working it will have a solid green light that means it's connected if it is flashing that means it is still trying to connect so that's something to keep in mind to be patient with that technology and that is how you reconnect